Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So today I'm going to show you a recipe for takeout style Chinese sweet and sour chicken. I'm going to fry up golden pieces of chicken and I'm going to make that oh so popular red sweet and sour sauce you get like in the tub when you get Chinese takeout. It's got to be good. So to start the sweet and sour chicken recipe, I'm gonna be working with one and a half to two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I cut these into one and a half to two inch pieces. So I'm gonna marinate this for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna season the chicken with some soy sauce. Go like a tablespoon. Go with some onion powder. Let's go with some garlic powder a tablespoon of Shaoxing cooking wine. Uh, maybe that was like a tablespoon and a half. I'm also gonna go in with some white pepper and just give it a mix. And I'm gonna let this just marinate for at least 30 minutes. It smells great already. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the batter for these uh, the sweet and sour chicken that I'm going to fry up. Here I have a half cup of all-purpose flour, cornstarch. You could use, I guess, all cornstarch or a combination of flour, potato starch, all flour. It, it all works. I'm going to go in with some white pepper, maybe a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to go in with some onion powder, garlic powder. I'd say somewhere between a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of each. One teaspoon of salt. Here I have one tablespoon of baking powder. Give that a mix. One large egg. Cold water, I'm going to add I'm gonna start with like a half cup, mix it in. You wanna get this combined well, kind of like a pancake batter consistency. Not too, not a thin batter, not a thick batter, somewhere in between. A little bit more water. Okay, so I'm almost there. A little more water. It's gonna take somewhere like Maybe three quarters of a cup. Okay, so here I am preheating my cooking oil. If you're wondering why it looks like this green hue, it's because it's grape seed oil, but vegetable oil, any type of fry oil uh, that can handle a high smoke point works for this. So I'm just gonna let this preheat. So here's the batter. So what I'm going to do is add all this chicken into this batter. There we go. And now I'm just going to coat and mix all my chicken pieces. And the marinated chicken just it smells so good with that combination of ingredients. Okay, okay, so that's combined, and I'm just gonna wait till my fry oil comes up to temp, and we're gonna start frying these. So after I fry my chicken pieces, they're going on this baking sheet with a wire rack, and my cooking oil should be up to a fry temp, just wooden chopsticks. If you start to see it, let's get closer here. See how it kind of bubbles around the chopsticks? That's a good indication. Your fry oil is there. I have my pieces here and just give them one last little coating here and I'm going to start placing them into the fry oil and I'm going to do this in batches. So, here we go. So we got our little first piece. going in and you don't want to crowd the pan so like I said do these in batches so 
So I'm going to let these cook. They started floating to the top right away. I'm going to let these cook for the first fry because I will be doing a double fry for this. Hi, Bo. Okay, so I'm going to take these out. And then place them onto my baking sheet. So I'm going to let those hang out and start frying some more. So all of my chicken pieces are fried for the first time. So what I'm going to do now is clean out the cooking oil and get it ready for the double fry. So while I do this, the temperature's coming back up. You wanna make sure the oil is nice and hot again because it does drop when, um, you know, you're frying things. So there we go. Okay, so here we go, double fry. Going in with some chicken pieces. And I'm basically going to double fry the chicken until it is a deep golden brown color. Okay, so this fried for an additional two minutes or so. And now we have beautiful crispy golden brown chicken pieces with that double fry. So going back onto my baking sheet. And I'm just going to repeat the process for the rest of the chicken pieces. Okay, so here are my golden brown crispy crunchy pieces and let's see look at this just yum huh. okay so now for this takeout Chinese restaurant style red sweet and sour sauce so here I have three quarters of a cup of sugar I'm gonna create a cornstarch slurry with equal parts cornstarch to cold, cold water. Here I have some soy sauce. It's around one and a half to two tablespoons. I'm going to start with a quarter cup of rice vinegar. I may need more, I may need less. It's really up to you. Here I have one cup of pineapple juice and to give it the red color, yes, red dye. You don't have to add that, but again, I'm going for that Chinese takeout style red sweet and sour sauce. And the ratios of these ingredients, once you create, you know, you mix it together, taste it. And if you want things sweeter, add more sugar. If you want things with more of a tangy punch, add more rice vinegar. So let me just create this cornstarch slurry. This is what's going to thicken things. So two tablespoons water, two tablespoons cornstarch, give it a mix. And you wanna make sure the water is cold because if it's warm or hot, it'll clump up and it won't mix, so yeah. So this is done and ready ah, for when I need it. Okay, so let's get the sauce started. Here, I'm going in with my sugar. Add my cup of pineapple juice. This is just natural, unsweetened pineapple juice. And I want to, I want the sugar and the pineapple juice to combine. You want the sugar to dissolve, so I'm going to let that go first. To your sweet and sour sauce, there are a lot of things that you can do to impart extra flavor. For example, if you want to saute garlic, ginger, and scallion whites before adding the pineapple juice and sugar, do so. That will definitely add nice flavor. But I'm going for a very simple, easy uh, Chinese takeout. You know that tub of red sweet and sour sauce they give you with takeout? That's what I'm going for today. Okay, so this has dissolved. Now I'm going to add my quarter cup of rice vinegar going to add my soy sauce. I'm going to give that a mix. Now before you add your cornstarch slurry, 
you'll need to taste this for salty, sweet, tanginess. Adjust it to your preference. If you think, if you think it needs to be sweeter, add more sugar. If it needs more of that tangy punch, add more rice vinegar. If you want to add uh, something a little bit more salty, there's soy sauce or just add a pinch of, of salt. It's up to you. So I think it needs just a little bit salt, um, a little bit of salt going in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna combine that and just let it kind of dissolve into the mixture. Okay, so this is simmering. All right, so here's the, the red food coloring. I'm just gonna go in, this is actually a gel, so not really measuring. If you're using the drops, you know, start with maybe, um, oh yeah, that did change it. Start with maybe like three to four drops. I'm gonna turn it down, I don't want it boiling. Now, to thicken this, let's add our cornstarch slurry. I'm gonna add half of it first, and it should thicken it right away a little bit. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to add just a little more. So maybe half of it. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to shut the heat off. I don't want this to be like, and that's my sweet and sour sauce. There we go. <laughs> my son. Just a crispy, oh, this one has like a crispy piece that I love. Mm -mm -mm. Crunchy and crispy. So now, here we go. You dunk it and you eat it. <laughs> and this is how I make Chinese takeout sweet and sour chicken. So good. Dare I say that that is better than Chinese takeout. The sauce is so good. When you get to control the sweetness to sourness of the sauce, thumbs up to that. Mm. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye.